Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to do database testing in Robot Framework. Robot Framework provides a lot of useful libraries to be used in writing automation scripts. We can find different libraries on the robotframework.org website. Open the website and click on the link Get Libraries. On this page, we can see standard libraries, external libraries, and other libraries. Click on the external link. Under external link, you can find different libraries to be used in the automation development. There is a library developed in Python language. It's called database library. So you click on the link and on the database library page, you can see different APIs. Let's click on the latest link, version 0 0.6 API. On this page, you will find different keywords you can use in your automation script. In order to use database library, we need to install and import the library in robot framework. And installation is very easy. You can use using easy install with the command easy install robot framework dash database library. Or you can use the command pip to install the database library in your robot framework. pip install robot framework dash database library. Once you installed the library, you can use it in your robot framework script. If you don't have easy install or pip install, you can download from the source and you can use python setup.py install command to install the library. Let's look at the library to find out what keywords are provided in the library. So in this shortcut section, we can see a lot of keywords. Check if exists in database. Check if not exists in database. Connect to database. Connect to database using custom params. Delete all rows from table. Disconnect from database. Execute SQL script. Execute SQL string query, row count. And row count is equal to x, is zero. Row count is greater than x. Row count is less than x. Table must exist. On the table, you can find how to use keyword and what arguments each keyword is take and documentation. Let's say the first keyword check if exists in database. The argument is select statement. So you select a column and find out if the select statement returns any rows. So check if any row would be returned by giving the input select statement. If there are no results, then this will throw an assertion error. And second one is check if not exists in database. 
This is the negation of check if exist in database. This one is connect to database using different database module, DB name, DB username, DB password, DB host, port, and config file. Depending on the type of database, you can use different DB API. Next one is connect to database using custom params. If you have a config file to be used in database connection, you can use the config file for connecting to a database. Next one is delete all rows from table. Delete all rows within a given table. For example, given we have a table person in the database, when you do the following, delete all rows from table person. If all the rows can be successfully deleted, then you will get pass. If not, you will get fail. Next one is description. Use the input select statement to query a table in the DB, which will be used to determine the description. Disconnect from database. Once the connection is established, we need to disconnect from the database so that we don't take the connection forever. Next one is execute SQL script. So we can execute a SQL script with this keyword and execute SQL string. So execute the SQL string as SQL commands. Useful to pass arguments to your SQL. And we run a query using a select statement. Row count, we can return the row count. Row count is zero. So that means if any rows are returned from the submitted select statement, if there are, then this will throw an assertion error. And row count is equal to x. Row count is greater than x. Row count is less than x. So all these three keywords are used to check row count. And last one is table must exist. It takes a table name. In the database, a table name should exist. Now let's look at a local database we have and use the automation script to check various cases. So this is the SQL Express 2014 and I have attached AdventureWorks 2012 database. So in this database, the database name is AdventureWorks and it has tables. So we can connect to the local database and uh, do some cases. Currently, for the login username, we used the SA user account. That is the uh, admin account for the database. And it is the local host and we used the default port for this. Now let's look at the actual automation script with the robot framework. So in the robot framework, I created a test suite called SQL Server Test. So I defined uh, several variables to use. Uh, port, that is the port needs to be used for connecting to the database. The username, that is the admin account. Database host, that's the local host. Password, when I installed the SQL database, for password I said PASS at word and query result and row count empty. So all the variables are used in the various test cases. Now let's look at these test cases. 
So exist in database. We connect to a database and then we check if the select statement returns any rows. So connect to the database. For the API we use PI MS SQL. That's used for SQL Server connection. This is the DB name. This is the DB username. This is the DB password and the host. And this is the port number. So we established a connection using connect to database. And second is check if existing database select all from production that product where list price more than 50. Now let's run this SQL to find out if this returns any row. Select all from production that product where list price more than 50. So it returned 251 rows. So that means the test should pass. The second one is not exist in database. Select all from production dot product where price less than zero. Now let's check it out. So list price is less than zero. Now let's run this script. It returned zero. So that means this test should pass. Table exists in database. So connect to the database and table must exist. So we have a table called department. Now let's look at the uh, table structure. We have human resources dot department. So human resource is the schema owner department is a table. So we have this table. And also this table have some records in it. Next one is row count more than. So we connect to the database. Row count is greater than x. We use select product ID from production dot product where product ID more than 300. Um, this should be be passing, but uh, maybe there is something wrong with the library. So this case uh, fails all the time. But this is how you use the keyword. Next one is row count less than. So connect to the database and row count is less than x. So this one, because there is no product, price is less than zero. So this passes and this SQL statement returns zero row. We copy it and we execute. So it returned zero row or it returned nothing. So next one is log query result. So this is uh, connect to the database. You run a SQL query and store the SQL query as a query result collection and you log the query result collection so first second from the collection you return first element second element and a third element you disconnect to the uh, database now let's run the script and find out since we have another test suite in the robot framework, I name it the SQL server, uh, server test suite with a tag. So exist in database test, the tag says DB test. For all the test cases, I added a tag named DB test. Now let's click on run. For the output directory, is test result and we append the timestamp for the result file. Now let's start. So we have six critical tests, five passed, one failed. 
and six total test five passed one failed the failed case should be passing but uh, maybe there is something wrong in the uh, database library so that case failed so you can always uh, find out what if why it failed by looking at the actual python source code now let's look at the log file we click on the log and we have six total cases five passed one failed and six cases five passed one failed now let's uh, look at each test so existing database we connect to the database the connection is successful because it's green the second one is um, select all from production that product where list price more than 50 and check if existing database this return true and then disconnect from database so by looking at the log file we know that five case passed one case failed because of the application error we can also look at the report uh, because the one case failed the background of the report is red so one critical test failed if all cases passed the background would be green so as explained in this automation script at the test suite level we need to import the database library so you you can use the database library and use different keywords to test various functionality of a database for routine example please check out www.seleniummaster.com website thanks for watching